bringing up Alfred Blue this week. Lamar Miller came back in the game and, and finished the game, right? But um, this is Monday night against it, Denver. Yeah, yeah, but we don't know. Like, how yeah. many times have we seen a guy? Go get injured, come back in the game, finish, and then you find out a couple days later. I wish they'd he's give. And, up. and this is not. Be, I mean, I've dropped him, but you know, I just Tyler Irvin. I think they need to put Tyler Irvin in there from scrimmage, and I'll tell you why. I mean, to me, right now, the Houston Texans are in crisis on offense. You think? And <laughs> and uh, they, you know, they're not. They're just a bad offensive team because yeah, sure. they can't rely on the quarterback to be accurate. That's why I think they need a Darren Sproles in the backfield. That's what Tyler Irvin is. He's the next Darren Sproles. They, I mean, Osweiler did dump off a lot of passes to the running back when, he was, in, when yeah. he was in Denver. And so it's interesting that you mentioned that. Although I will say Lamar Miller's a very good pass-catching running back. Yeah. But it, just in terms of identifying trends, so another guy that probably is available in almost every league, how about Robert Kelly? And mm-hmm. Chris Thompson in Washington. Like, I realize Jay Gruden gave support to Matt Jones, but I mean, he has had fumble issues in the past. He had him in college. He had him last year. It's a, it's a red flag. And honestly, I believe they lost that game against Detroit because of Matt Jones. You can't fumble, you can't fumble yeah. in the red, you know, on the road like that. You just can't fumble like that. And so I believe Robert Kelly, who had a great preseason, and Chris Thompson, who was really terrific, those are two guys that are going to get more run on a pretty good offense. So it's, uh, in terms of searching for running backs in fantasy, it's a little bit of trying to see why did something happen and what's going to happen in the future. Or just listen to my podcast, I guess. You're listening to the MMQB Podcast. Hey, everybody, listen up. You don't want to miss this. Make sure you remember these four letters, MMQB. Sometimes it feels like there aren't enough hours in the day, especially when you're working past the normal 9 to 5. So, if you're still making that time-consuming trip to the post office, you need a better way. Use stamps.com. Anything you can do at the post office, you can do right from your desk with stamps.com. Buy and print official U.S. postage for any letter or package using your own computer and printer. And unlike the post office, Stamps.com never closes. You can get your postage whenever you need it, 24-7. Now, here's the part I told you to remember. Right now, for my listeners, sign up for Stamps.com and use my promo code MMQB for this special offer. A four-week trial, plus... A $110 bonus offer, including postage and a digital scale. Don't wait. Within minutes, you'll be printing postage right from your desk. Go to stamps.com, and before you do anything else, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in MMQB. Don't forget the microphone at the top of the screen. That's stamps.com. Click the microphone and enter MMQB. Okay, so I have this little pet peeve about fantasy football, and I always have had it. I've heard them all. Go for it. I think it's utterly preposterous that running backs are valued higher in fantasy football than quarterbacks, and quite honestly, than wide receivers. Because in football today, uh, running backs are not as important as quarterbacks and wide receivers in the real sport of football. Now, they are important. Don't get me wrong. And as the Arizona Cardinals will tell you, will show you right now, the most important player on their team all of a sudden is David Johnson. Sure, of course. But for the most part, you look at most teams in the NFL. And so my big pet peeve is the over-importance of running backs. Respond. Well, I think there's a couple of solutions to that. And some are like, so there's two quarterback leagues. There are league PPR leagues, I think, take some of the onus off of running backs and make it much more of a pass friendly or wide receiver heavy league. Part of the problem is, is that, and I know this is going to seem crazy given what we've seen so far, but part of the problem is, is that there's too many good quarterbacks. So when you only, if you're in a 10 or 12 team league, there's 12 good quarterbacks out there that can put up good fantasy points. And there's enough other guys that in a given week with the right matchup can put up numbers. So partially well, it's What just, you're saying is, so there's only a couple of Ezekiel Elliott's, Le'Veon Bells, and right. now David Johnson. That's why running back is so important because there's such a commoditization, which isn't sort of it. exactly a word, of the running back position. Because so many teams have gone by running back by committee. There's so few bell cow running backs. And most teams have a decent quarterback. Not all the teams, but most teams have a decent quarterback – I think you could argue more teams in the NFL have a better quarterback situation than they do running back situation 
if you were to take one running back. Right. There are a lot of teams that do committees and they sort of get by with that. But right. to your point, there's there's only there's a handful of Le'Veon Bells, Ezekiel Elliott, David Johnsons, Adrian Peterson when he's healthy. I get it. LaShawn McCoy. Yeah. Matthew, uh you have had a weird life in the, <laughs> yes. in this way, in this way that Sometimes and occasionally we've talked, some you can talk about, some you can't, but sometimes the phone rings and the guy on the other end is an extraordinarily famous person. So what happens when a famous person calls you and wants help and tell us a story of somebody who you might have helped at one point who you say, wow, that guy's really into fantasy football. That's cool. Um, well, there's, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of celebs that reach out and I'm always thrilled to do it. I'm thrilled to do it because I believe my job is among, in addition to analyzing fantasy football, my job is to promote fantasy football, both internally here at ESPN, which I continually do and to all of our fans. So if I can get a celebrity to play fantasy football or I can help their enjoyment of it and then they're tweeting about it, the more and more somebody does it, you know, the more popular it becomes, right? So that's, I think that's fantastic. Um, let's see. Well, I was here's one that I think was was really cool and is, has been uh, really fun, and that is uh, so. This past year, I get a call. Where well, this summer, I get a call from Anna Ferris. I don't know if you know who she oh, is, sure. the actress. Yeah. She's yeah. terrific, right? And her producer reached out, and so she does a podcast called Anna Ferris is Unqualified, and it's her asking opinion questions about subjects she knows nothing about. <laughs> and she says, and she says, we'd like you to come on the podcast. And the reason is, is because her husband, Chris Pratt, of course, you know, yeah. uh, you know, Jurassic World and Guardians of the Galaxy, huge movie star. Her husband, Chris Pratt, is joining a fantasy football league for the very first time. And apparently the entry fee is is uh, fairly high and she does not want him to lose his shirt. Right. So she does not want him. Uh, she feels like he's getting into a league with a bunch of sharks and yeah. she wants to make sure. So she is having me on the podcast entirely to recruit me to help her with her husband. <laughs> and so I came on the podcast and we talked about it and the whole thing. And so I've been helping Chris Pratt out a little bit. And so that's been fun. So he's a very knowledgeable NFL fan and a quick learn at, at fantasy football. So um, that's been fun. And as a result of that, actually, on our podcast, we have a celebrity fantasy football league. And sometimes you see these celebrity leagues, Peter, and they're, there's different levels of fame, I should say. I, you know, or different uh, – I don't, I want, I'm trying to say this plainly. I wanted stars. I wanted celebrities where you don't have to explain yeah. who they are. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when, when you have to say like, well, he was, you know, Joe the cab driver on the, on the you know, what's going down episode of That's My Mama or whatever the, <laughs> whatever the reference was from uh, Coming to America. Right. So when you have to explain them, they're not really a celebrity. Right. So I wanted like uh, a real celebrity league. ESPN asked me to put one together, and I said, I will only do it if we can get real, real celebrities. Right. And together with the help of ESPN, we managed to do that. And so we have a 14-team league. We actually had people asking us to join the league this year. It's the second year we've done it. And so if I may name drop for a little Go bit. Ahead. about who yeah. here, and So everyone in the league actually plays fantasy football in our league, which I think is really cool. So that's been part of the fun. Kevin Durant. Wow. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Evan Longoria. Anna Ferris. So I came on her podcast and I will do that. I said, but you have to play yeah. play in this league. So now she's she cones a team with her podcast producer. Chelsea Handler. Wow. Uh Ike Barinholtz, Zach Efron. Uh, your your assistant just literally gasped. That's the that's the reaction <laughs> yeah. when uh when I mentioned Zach Efron's uh name, Jim Parsons. Oh yeah. You know, who's uh who's absolutely terrific. Uh let's see. That's nine. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Let me ask but, you this question. Yeah. Anyway. So is there trash talk in your league? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that's there? that's the best part, and it's all off the record. But Chelsea Handler is a hilarious and dirty, dirty trash talker. <laughs> I mean, it's just is it, she any good at fantasy football? She's and getting she better. Pick her own team. She had help. She yeah. um, so w- which we fully admit. So she had a producer. Because here's the thing: the the most important thing for me was that we didn't want people to have a bad experience. So I didn't right. want Chelsea to come in there because it was her first time. Right. Oh, Miles Teller. Oh, I'm, yeah. here's who I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting Miles Teller. Yeah. It's terrific. And Lord and Miller. This is the one I do have to explain. Oh, Darius Rucker. Darius Rucker's in the league. Wow. And uh, Lord and Miller. Lord and Miller are the directing team of 22 Jump Street, of the Lego movie, and they're currently uh, overseas directing the new Han Solo movie. Wow. And they're hardcore fantasy football players. So, And we have them all on the podcast, and they're all great. So Chelsea picked her team with her with her producer. 
So she would say between this guy and this guy. But like she, when I was, I did her show to explain Fantasy Football to her, which is how we got Chelsea. And Chelsea was like, "Well, I love Cam Newton." I'm like, "Well, you should pick him." So she like she picked Cam Newton. Cam Newton's her quarterback. So yeah. so she's following along. We had her on the podcast, and she's like, "I don't totally understand football, but I know who my players are, and I'm following along." And she's having a great time of it. Yeah. So yeah, that's been. That's Let been me the ask coolest. you a question: Does Barack Obama play fantasy football? I don't know. About, I wouldn't be surprised if he does, obviously, because he's, a, he's a an beard. avid sports yeah, fan. With, yeah. And But I'll, I know a lot of politicians do. I mean, we yeah. saw it like uh, Rubio and Chris Christie and Rubio's Jeb, a huge uh, Dolphins fan. And Jeb Bush. A lot of them all mentioned that they play fantasy football during, uh, during the debates, uh, during the Republican yeah. primaries. How about and Trump? I don't – I can't imagine Trump's play fantasy football. I saw football. Trump on the sidelines in Foxborough about three years ago. And uh, very garrulous, very outgoing. I mean, he said hello, and we talked about football for a couple of minutes. Uh, but he and he definitely is a Brady guy, and they yeah. talk a lot. You know, so I, I could yeah. see it. Here's the thing: I've come to the point where I'm never shocked that anyone plays yeah. Yeah. fantasy football. Uh, you know, I've the last five years I've been invited to. This is again, this is the super name droppy part of your podcast, and I apologize for this, but I know you you asked me for this. But and I bring this up only because it speaks to your point. The last I get I get this call five years ago saying we'd like you to come to our draft, and I'm like, hey, thanks, appreciate it, but I don't really go to random people's drafts. Mm-hmm. And he says it's for Jay Z's league. What time do you need me? <laughs> right? And so, like, who knew Jay Z played fantasy football? And he's like a hard. He's in a he's in a twelve team three wide receiver PPR league. He is hardcore into it and so the last five years they always invite me and I go and I just sort of hang out at the draft and it's always just a lot of fun uh, Chris Paul is in that league wow. uh, from the Clippers and it's always imp- I'm so I'm never shocked at when I find out somebody plays fantasy football so I mean just I feel like Peter the P- I'm more shocked when I find out somebody who doesn't <laughs> Matthew Barry uh, on the MMQB podcast with Peter King thank you so much for joining me it was a lot of fun my pleasure thanks for having me It's the MMQB Podcast. I want to ask my listeners a quick question. How would you like to get three home-cooked meals for free? That sounds like my kind of deal. Well, all you have to do is remember these four letters, MMQB. Easy enough, right? Keep listening, and I'll tell you how to get those free meals. Look, we all know there's nothing better than a great home-cooked meal, and no one makes it easier for you to do that than Blue Apron. Their mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to everyone. Blue Apron knows that when you cook with incredible ingredients, you make incredible meals. So they set the highest quality standards for their suppliers and only bring you the best ingredients, all right to your door. You can customize your recipes every week based on your preferences. Choose delivery options to fit your needs. There's no weekly commitment, so you'll only get the deliveries when you want them. You won't be disappointed. Now comes that part about the three free meals I was talking about. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash MMQB. Think about it. Three free meals just by adding in the letters MMQB. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. Once again... That's blueapron.com slash MMQB. Blue Apron. It's a better way to cook. Back on the Peter King Podcast, I'm here with David Johnson, running back of the Arizona Cardinals. We're in Tempe, Arizona, where the Cardinals have a training facility, uh, and we're back in a little tiny room right by their locker room and just had the good fortune of uh, working the Cardinals locker room, a lot of good guys in that room. So, David, I think one of the interesting things that I've seen about you is that, you know, nobody really knows who you are. You know, you sort of exploded onto the scene with, you know, a three-touchdown game on Monday night and so many uh, great runs so far in your very young NFL career. So could you have had any idea you would have played this well coming out of northern Iowa, being a third-round pick by the Cardinals in 2015? Uh, you know what? Uh, I feel like, you know, with my confidence, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm very confident in my ability to play. But, you know, this is definitely a blessing. 
uh, to be able to come out and be have this much success and, uh, you know, getting drafted in the third round, coming from a small school. and.